Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Casey. Uh, I kind of talk about my life and things I go through from um, the trucks, the military stuff, and now um, now that I've progressed in the, the actual DOD uh, cybersecurity, so I'm kind of giving like my take as like a newer individual coming into this scene and kind of like what I know and what I don't know uh, to try to answer a few questions for uh, maybe someone out there looking for the answer because uh, I know I sure am. So let's talk about uh, what doors uh, Security Plus will open for you. Um, I recently got my Security Plus. You can check out those videos. Please feel free to go back and watch them. Uh, kind of give you a little bit of insight of you know my test taking experience, the studying materials they did, and stuff like that. So let's talk about. Uh, I guess first off, if you don't have any experience um, and what type of doors it could open there. Um, I would say first thing, because nobody, everybody wants to tell you the money at the end. I want to tell you the money at the beginning, because that's that's literally the only thing I care about was the money. I was tired of working a shit job. I just wanted to know the money. Uh, coming in, uh, thirty-five to fifty, fifty high end. Fifty is really high end, like if you're in an expensive place to live. Um, that's like coming in the door, but usually around thirty-five to forty is where you're gonna come in. Thirty to forty-five, so. You know, between 30 to 50,000 is where you're gonna come in at, at entry level help desk type stuff. Um, and then you can also try to apply for other a couple of other positions as well. Uh, but most, mainly the time, you're gonna probably be on like help desk, or like a, uh, a, a technician of some sort. Technician means more of you'll be like um, dealing with the hardware parts, like taking stuff apart, uh, replacing SSDs, uh, hard drives, computers. Uh, screens, monitors, those are the same thing. You're welcome for that definition and stuff like that. Um, so like intermediate, then you can move into like a, uh, a junior role for like a junior network admin role or a junior system administrator role. Um, that's kind of what I'm working towards next in the lineup of cards. Uh, you will get paid a little bit more um, depending on that, anywhere between, um, you know, 45, very low. I would not take 45 to be honest with you. 45 through 60, um, 65,000, depending on where you're at. Uh, to be honest, bro, you got to know your worth at the end of the day. If you put in that time to study for that test and you have some experience, you need to know your worth. You need to make sure when you go and apply for these jobs, and when they try to, like, I wouldn't say low volume and salary, but they try to offer you the lower end and say, hey, I know my worth. I want more than that. Um, so, let me talk about my experience a little bit. Um, I was offered a couple of jobs, so I'm, that's kind of where I'm getting these numbers from. Um, I have a few years IT experience, uh, and I have a really solid year and a half of IT experience where I was like a nighttime, I was on night shift, the nighttime network admin system admin. I was uh, in the junior role, uh, so I definitely put that on my resume. Um, and so I knew my worth. Uh, before I had Security Plus, I was trying any, I was trying to get in any job I really could. Um, I was literally going to pick up any crumbs somebody left over here didn't want, I was going to take it. Um, I was offered a job for 55000 in Montgomery, Alabama, and the catch was I had three months uh, to get Security Plus. Some places will give you a lead way uh, on when you have to get Security Plus. So like say, like, hey, you got three months, you got six months, you got uh, two months, you know, something like that. And that's kind of like, um, I wouldn't say in the contract, but usually if you don't get it by then, you're fired. Uh, so you definitely have like a timeline that'll help push you along to get, take that test. Um, but after I got Security Plus, uh, I still wasn't working in a job role that needed Security Plus. I was actually working for a, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say who I was working for because I signed the NDA. But yeah, I was working with a, a very big um, company um, in the IT or yeah, it's a big company, bro. I'm not going to say it because... Uh, they 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 got more money than me. They gonna sue we little old Casey, and I ain't gonna have no money left. Then I'm gonna be begging for fucking change on the street. Yeah, so I was working in a role for them doing like help desk support, and I knew I hated help desk. I was like, bro, I'm never doing help desk again. So when I get the security plus, bro, I'm out. I'm not doing help desk anymore. So uh, a couple of the jobs I was offered after security plus, I was offered. Um, I am DOD by the way, uh, DOD contracting. So I needed a security clearance. Um, I was offered a job in Guantanamo for 50 tax free. I said I wanted 55 at least. Um, and like I said, you gotta know your worth, bro. You gotta know your worth. I said at 55, I was offered a uh, position at, in New Orleans as a junior network admin. That was 60,000 uh, a year. So it's like 28, 84 roughly. 
an hour. Um, that was my highest offer. I turned it down, however, because I didn't want to go to New Orleans at this time. I just felt like it really wasn't in the cards for me. I didn't want to be tied down into one spot. I wanted to travel around. I just got out of the military, um, you know, single no kids. I just wanted to travel. I just want to see as much as I can see. Um, let's see. I was offered a job in Huntsville, Alabama, and it was roughly uh, around like 55 as well. Um, but, you know, living in these bigger cities is more expensive, so you definitely have to take, you know, that cost into play when you're deciding. Um, so I chose to go with a company um, who was actually my... <laughs> They were actually the lowest paying company um, at $25 an hour, which is what I make now. Oh my God, I'm talking about how much I'm making now or all the boomers get in the comments and flame the shit out of me because you're not supposed to talk about how much you make because it's, it's some taboo shit. I don't know. Yeah, I make $25 an hour now. I'm in Rhode Island. So an Alabama boy is in Rhode Island. I'm adjusting a lot right now. Um, it's going great um I'm, just, I'm i'm adjusting i'm actually really liking it here i'm liking the job i'm liking the vibes um so yeah so i'm in a kind of like a technician role right now like i said technician is going to be usually on the uh, entry side but i took it because i wanted to travel so i travel to a different spot every three to six weeks i move spots to so like i might i work the east um, coast so I might so I might be in Rhode Island here for six weeks and I might move down to like Jacksonville Florida or uh, in the Carolinas or something like that and I was like that's what I want I don't want to stay in one spot too long I want to be there long enough experience the culture get some pump some vlogs out have good times meet new people and just enjoy life and I'm literally doing that bro I'm actually enjoying myself um, but without security plus I wouldn't be able to do any of this I'd probably be working that help desk job still and I low-key hated that uh, I didn't like it at all um, it wasn't, it wasn't like, well, fuck. it was kind of the customer, not gonna lie, it's like a mental, a mental stress, like I was just stressed, um, cause it was, it wasn't, it was a lot to be honest, but now that I'm in like a tech role, job super easy, I don't have to deal with like front end user support, which isn't bad, I'm really good with people actually, I'm like, hi, thank you for calling, beep, how may I help you, oh, your computer's broke. Did you reset it? It fixed a problem. Thank you for calling beep. If you have any more questions, call us back later. Please don't, please don't call back. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about where you're gonna get a job at if you do get Security Plus. So uh, if you live in like a small ass uh, town like I did. Um, so uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the channel, I lived around uh, Enterprise, Alabama. And the only place there for DOD is Fort Rooker. Well, you gotta, you gotta kind of know someone or hit that job at the right time to beat out your competitors, especially like me, like I'm a smaller guy, I don't have as much experience. Um, so people with more experience would over trump me, um, unless I got a job interview and then I'd be cracking up jokes, dapping them up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Uh, so you probably have to move to a bigger city. Um, I put up a couple right here, in Washington, New York, Dallas, Baltimore, Chicago, Atlanta, Boston, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and who? San Jose, uh, so a lot of the California ones, because you know uh, there's a lot of tech companies out there and stuff like that. But any of your bigger cities are usually going to have some sort of uh, tech industry there, like um, a couple more in the South: uh, Huntsville, Pensacola, Panama City, Jacksonville, Orlando, Miami, and then you move into like uh, up the East Coast, Charlottesville. Um, I don't know many cities up the East Coast. I'm sorry, guys. I just got here to roll out. And my apologies. But yeah, that's pretty much the doors that it'll open. Um, I was definitely like, you know, trying to figure this stuff out too. If you have any questions or comments, or concerns, want to know about that bread, want to know how to talk to these IT recruiters, how you want to talk to like the interview people, um, ask me, but don't ask about job interviews because I'm kind of not the best at them. I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually kind of bomb half my interviews. I don't do very well. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and then, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be dropping a vlog here soon. I don't know because I'm still kind of quarantined here. I have to be quarantined for so long while I'm in Rhode Island to make sure I don't have the Rona. Catch you later, guys.